Okay, little Sadie. So this can be done, I'm doing this in regular tuning, G tuning, and we can also do it with what they call a modal tuning or uh, where you raise the B string up to a C. I'm gonna show you regular tuning first and then I'll show it in the other tuning. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep this pointer finger on that B string, the first fret, that creates that what they call a modal sound. Okay. Now the other thing that this song has is what's called a drop thumb. Where you bring your thumb down. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be familiar with the claw hammer style. Because that's what I'm doing it. I'm doing the claw hammer style. You can do the Pete Seeger style, but it's hard to do the drop thumb in the Seeger style, so that's why I'm doing it in the claw hammer style. So the drop thumb is where you take your thumb and you bring it down and play one of these other strings rather than the fifth string to create an extra rhythm that you need. So let's talk about what's going on with the melody. So the melody is open first, third fret first, and then open first, in this case, second string, first fret, third fret, third string, open. So it's okay. Then you're going to go. So I'm playing an F chord, which in this in regular tuning, your third fret low D, second fret G, first fret D. And the melody goes. So that's the G string, second fret. You're just holding that chord. And B string, first fret. Then you're going to pull it off on the second, on the G string from the second to open. Third fret, low D, open. So let's back up and do that first one. Now let's do a claw hammer. So it's. So the first string, third fret. And here comes the drop thumb. You hit the. So after you hit the first string with your finger, you're using your first or second finger. I'm using my first today. Then you follow it with the thumb on that second string. And then you play the third fret of the third string with the finger, and then open third string with the finger. So that's the trick. You're probably just going to want to sit there and go. Cross over with the pointer finger or with the uh, the finger when you're frailing or claw hammering. Okay, so it's first string, thumb on second, finger on third, and then finger on third again. Open. So. Then here's the second portion. It's all just regular claw hammer. You get that extra note by a pull off. If you don't know how to do a pull off, it's tricky, but basically you're, you play the note, in this case second fret of the G, and then you either pull down and pluck the string or push up. Second phrase. And then the third part is. So again, I've got this F chord still. 
first fret, second, second fret, third, third fret, fourth, and I'm hammering on to that fourth string. So I play it, and I play it open, then hammer to the third. First phrase, you go open first string with finger, third fret first string, open again, bring the thumb down to the second string, again on the first finger, on the first fret, pardon me. And that's the third fret of the G. And then open G, third fret D. Back to open. Okay, now same thing, but now we're going to tune this B string up. That should be a C now, or it matches the first string on the second fret. So it's a little easier because you don't have to hold that finger down. So it's... So I can literally do all that with one finger down here. Open, third, open, bring the thumb down to the second string. Third fret, G, open G. This F, just very simple, just two fingers, third fret low D, second fret G, and I'm hammering onto that G. I'm sure it's there, pulling off. All right, so I'm playing the G string, second fret, and I'm holding this chord. Open second string. Two to open on the third. Third fret D. Open. And that's literally just a one finger chord. And now I go back and do this phrase. Right? Hammering on that low string, open to third. necessary because you've got that string tuned up. Open first, sit third fret first, open first, thumb down on the second string, third fret on the uh, G string, open G. Time is just it's worth working on because you can get a lot of great rhythmic effects. A good exercise is just to go play the first string, fifth string, first string, thumb down to the second. 